Imagine you're Herman Kuhn and your entire fleet leaves you, but you don't get the message that you have to retreat. You're all alone against the HMS War Spite off the coast of Norway. What happens? Find out next on Bathtub Naval History. The Battle of Narvik, April of 1940, off the coast of Narvik, Norway. Now at this time, the British really wanted to boost morale and take out the Germans in that area for strategic reasons. So they sent the mother of all ships, the HMS War Spite. An absolute killing machine, a million guns and a million more for the ride home. They just happened to come up upon these different German destroyers along with German U-boats. For the purposes of this reenactment, the U-boats will be represented by a pirated copy of a Whitney Houston CD, as both are familiar with being underneath the water. Little did they know the Germans had plenty of vessels, but they had no ammunition and they had no gas. So they all had to hightail it out of there. Let's get out of here, the war spite's coming our way. But they didn't tell Herman Kuhn. They didn't tell him, and also he's sitting there going, holy sh Everyone just left without me. So he was on his own fighting this huge war spite of a ship. And you can, I mean, let's be honest. I mean, this is the Harlem Globetrotters against the Washington Generals in this battle. No! No! So instead of letting the British have the satisfaction of sinking his ship, he does something called scuttling his ship, where he sets detonation charges all over the ship to blow up. Now, <laughs> history does not know whether he blew up his own vessel or was the torpedoes from the British ships coming at it. Anyway, boom! Out of the water and into the water. The U-boats are like, I must avenge Herman. But the German U-boats had torpedo failure, could not seal the deal, and adding insult to injury, boom, they get blasted in the water. Even the airplanes come. This is actually the first time ever a plane actually sunk a German U-boat. Uh, and this plane will be represented by Sting. German U-boats, you suck. He, he scuttled his ship, and when they're floating out, the Brits, because they were really mad, came and actually machine gunned them while they're in the water. And if you get close to this location of Narvik, Norway, many claim you can hear the ghosts of the German soldiers whispering. Brits. Truly haunting material. That has been another edition of Bathtub Naval History. I'm Mike Anderson.